Damn. That's how it go, bro. All right, guys. Welcome to episode 178 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go over to Patreon, check us out over there. Get yourself some merchandise if you haven't done so already. And yeah, man, welcome back. We're back with another one. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? I just sparked up. Sparked up. You know what man. I mean, Ricky? Yeah, man. We smoking today, bro. It's a chill day. It's the vibes. Yeah. It's the vibes. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's my last day of fucking freedom, Rick. Hey, bro. I'll tell this guy something, man. I want to fucking... I want to give a round of applause to my dog over here, man. He's doing big things. Yadman things. Yeah, yeah. He's doing Yadman things over here. Now, for real, though, he's fucking... You know what I'm saying? He, he got himself a little job over here. You a know little job ski. A, a little job. You know what I mean? He got his, his real estate license coming on the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's doing Yadman things, and that's what we try to promote over here on Dope Talk TV for all you youngins. Listen, yeah. you don't have to be a fucking bum, all right? You don't have to be a bum. It's not cool to be a fucking fool, okay? Go to school and get your motherfucking money, all right? Go to school. <laughs> Straight like that. Go to school. Don't be a bum. Don't be a fucking bum, bro. The marathon continues. Nah, facts, nah, for real. Man. You got to take care of your business, bro. Like, you got to take care of your business, man. Whatever it is that you do, bro. Do it straight like that. <laughs> Fucking holy man, he just hit me up now. He's like, "Yo, I've been here, nigga." <laughs> Say, Fuck you. <laughs> like, Yo, the way that we communicate as boys is fucking funny as shit. <coughs> Listen, man. <coughs> yeah, men communicate different. <coughs> we do it with tough love, bro. <laughs> It's tough love. Women are like, why y'all talk to each other like that? Don't worry about it. It's my dog. No, nah, for real. Right? Like, yeah, it's I'll different. I'll tell him fuck off and then tell him to come over and have a beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Straight I, like that. Nah, bro. For nah, real. Nah, bro. But listen, man. Some shit I wanted to talk about. Shout out to Miguel. He's been sending me some, some good fucking topics lately, man. And uh, he sent me some shit where a Canadian firm is seeking approval to manufacture MDMA and other, you know, and other psychedelics. It says a Canadian company which produces functional mushroom formulations, including psilocybin, for health and wellness, has submitted a request to federal regulators that would allow it to manufacture MDMA and other synthetic psychedelic compounds. You know what I say? A round of a fucking applause. <laughs> round of applause. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's incredible. Nah, nah, I honestly hope they do it because it's like, bro, if if you look at the amount of people that are out here dying, dying from fake pills and fentanyl and fake MDMA and this and that being sold on the street, wouldn't you want to know that your shit's coming, you know what I'm saying, from a lab? Like, if that's what you're into? I mean, yeah. Like, it's like legit. It's like pure. You know, it's like going to Colombia. You know, you're getting some pure ass fucking cocaine. You know yeah, what I mean, bro? Facts. Like, I don't know, bro. I feel like we need to take we need to take uh, heed from other countries. Like, there's countries out there, bro, that they they legalized all drugs and they have centers where you go and do the drugs. They give you clean needles, whatever the fuck it is. The drugs are, you know, what I'm saying, like it's provided, and it's like I've and. It was proven statistically that the crime rate, drug usage, drug abuse, all that shit died down because it's not like it's not as accessible. And you there's it's not like you see people doing it on the street. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like you see you go certain places, nigga. There's people nodding out at the bus stop. You know what I'm saying? Shit yeah, like but that. But in Mexico, bro, I seen a documentary about how like all these pills and shit like they come in like fake. They look like real they're packages, fake. but they're yeah. fake. And, it's and they're, like, they're like, lacing like, fentanyl, bro, because what, they want to make three times the amount of money. So they lace it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I personally feel like if that's your boat. You know what I'm saying? And that's what floats your boat, bro. Like, I hope they do that for people. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, I honestly feel like certain drugs could be very beneficial to certain people if it's done right and it's actually the drug that's supposed to be that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. there's certain people with depression that MDMA would help. You know what I'm saying? Like, there mushrooms as well. Like, there's a lot of different uses for psychedelics. And I don't know, man. I really hope that they get through with that shit, bro. For real, for real. Like it could, I feel like it could help a lot of people. Yeah. Straight up. I mean, like, people are not going to stop doing drugs. 
Yeah, bro. You so know make it mean? safe for them. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like it's fuck? like in Amsterdam and shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, not Amsterdam. Uh what's I that think place? it is Amsterdam, bro. I think it's either it's Amsterdam or somewhere. um what's the other place where like uh Harold and Kumar went? No, it wasn't Amsterdam, was it? I don't know. It was in Europe. It's in Europe somewhere, but I know what you're talking about. Ah, oh, fuck. I think it's there. Guys, if you know what we're talking about, go down in the comments and let us know. Yeah, because I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm too lit right now. Yeah, we're pretty lit. <laughs> nah, but it's it, like it's basically legal over there. Like you can't, you just go in there and they give you free clean needles and shit. You sign like a little waiver. You go into yeah. like your own little private room and shit. I think we already spoke about this a long yeah. time ago. But nigga, we literally just spoke about it two seconds ago. But no, no, no I meant like before. Like there's a couple. No, episodes, we have yeah, we have mentioned you know? it a couple times, but yeah. I just feel like it would be safer for people to do that. The crime rate would go down. It wouldn't be as accessible for kids. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not gonna let like there's 14, 15 year old kids out here that have access to it, yeah. and it's like. Nigga, they're not going to let a 15-year-old kid walk into a clinic and shoot up dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. It's like, it's more regulated with some shit. Yeah. Uh, then again, the black market's always going to exist. And and people, you know, people are going to go to the black market. But I really feel like it would combat a lot of overdoses. That's just my fucking opinion. Yeah. And these people fucking won't stop fucking dying. It's like in Philly, bro. You get off a fucking bus and you see these fucking people just... Bro, it's sad, man. It's like, like kids a, passing bro, by and shit. It's sad, bro. To me, that's sad. Like a lot of people, they lose their way in life, man, and it, it's hard. It's hard to come back from situations like that, bro. When you hit bottom, bottom, when you're like fully addicted to drugs, you're homeless now. Like nobody will help you out because you burned every bridge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's sad. That's like nobody. I really feel like nobody strives to be that. Nobody wants to be like that. You know what I'm saying? It just ends up. You make mistake after mistake after mistake, and then you get in that pattern of just yeah. doing bad shit and making bad decisions. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I don't know, bro. I don't know. That's yeah, just how bro. life is, man. Drugs suck, man. Drugs fucking suck. But you know what else fucking sucks, man? Is these fucking land developers that they just want to come in and tear down fucking acres on acres worth of fucking land to build fucking parking lots and shit. <laughs> Jesus. And... I want to give a fucking. round of applause to Dave Chappelle, man, because Dave Chappelle, you know what I'm saying? Dave Chappelle buys Ohio land to block land developers, all right? That's, I mean. Bro, listen, he, he bought almost 20 acres worth of land, you know what I'm saying, in this certain area that the developers plan to come and, sh you know. Shut down. They came to Take it. tear it down. Take it. All the trees and shit. He's like, nah, bro, like, this is next to my my home where I've been living and I, I don't want y'all to fucking mess with it. Yeah. So he bought it. And as of right now, bro, it's like, he's pretty much at like war with the d land developers type shit. Like, nah, y'all yeah, yeah. can't cut this shit down. I just bought 20 acres. Yeah. You know save saying? the like, environment, man. Yeah, Come on, bro, bro. I agree. Round of applause again to Dave Chappelle, bro. Like everything don't need to be fucking cut down for a profit. Bro, bro. They're cutting down a lot of stuff, bro. Like a over lot. here, like even on our side, bro, it's like full it's neighborhoods, crazy. man. Full neighborhoods. But yeah. that's because of the supply and demand, bro. You know how many people are moving to Florida? Oof. I'm telling you, bro, like the houses, bro, they're expensive now. They're, they're about to be more expensive, bro, because I saw yeah. there's a few signs of new neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? In Central Florida that I've seen where they're like starting at 400,000. So they're not 350s no more. They went from 250 to 300 to 350. Now the houses are going to be 400 bands and up. I'm telling you, bro. Shit's about to get fucking serious when it comes to the financial situation in this country. And one thing I'd like to say is, listen, man, guys, guys, we need, we need to, like, come up with a fucking impeachment or some type of shit to get Biden out of office, bro. Because this man is... If we let this man keep fucking doing what he's doing, bro, by the end of his term, we're going to be fucked. America. We're going to be <laughs> fucked. <laughs> you understand? Nah, man. You Real know talk. what, bro? This guy's fucking falling out of his fucking bicycle and shit. Like, he just needs to give it up. There was a clip I sent you. This guy from New York, and it's two black men. And he's like, what do you think about Biden? And he goes, well, man, you know what? He's falling off fucking bikes and shit. He needs to just give it up. The other guy's like, bro, this guy is like, old he doesn't know what he's saying right and then he's like man trump did more for the black community than biden did and he did a, he did a way better job sorry I, I completely agree and and besides all that bro it's like 
again, the same thing. I, I, I've had this conversation with my sister. I've had this conversation with certain people with opposing views from mine. And I tell them the same thing. It's like, bro, like you're playing too much into the feeling side of things. Yeah. It's all about feelings and the way that what he's, how he said, what he said made you feel like, put that aside, bro. I'd rather have $2 a fucking gallon. I don't bro. care if he has to go in there and grab somebody by the pussy. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. If that's what he has to do to fix the fucking economy, nigga, that's what he has to do. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and straight the fuck not, up. Like, bro, we use like 15 times the amount of money that we could have used to fix the border. And yeah. And we sent it to Ukraine. Of course. And it's like, bro, like, we could have been protecting our borders and we could have had less crime Bro, as well. people get, again, it goes back to feelings. People want to get so sensitive, <laughs> but you can't go to fucking Canada like that. Bro, yeah, bro. Like Canada, people like, act like we're the only country trying to be this fucking. It's all about racism. It's, it's not about racism, bro. No, it's, it's about not. the fact that there's certain Crimes. regulations and rules and shit like that that keep peace, that yeah. keep certain things the way they are. Yeah, and people are like, "Oh, Canada is such a great country because Bec- of the, you know because of their border. Their, their border has <laughs> part of it to do with it. Like nigga, they wouldn't like their Gucci laws. Man. Like they wouldn't like Gucci Man in. Bro. Yeah, because they're like, nah, nigga, you got too many felonies. <laughs> Straight up." Straight up, nigga. We don't know what you're gonna do That's over here. Crazy. That's good though, because it's like, nigga, let's keep the criminals in the fucking. Let's houses. keep them in the states. <laughs> the states, bro. Like no, yeah. bro. The Canadians come here and, and vacation, and then they yeah. fucking go back and yeah. they stay there. You no, know I'm not gonna lie. Like, Shout out to Canada, bro. Like I've met some Canadians that are super fucking cool, super good hearted people. Give you the fucking shirts off their back, bro. Like no lie, they're great people. Yeah, yeah. But my main point is like, yo, like. The border has to be regulated somehow, bro. Yeah, America's you know what I'm great, saying though. like it just it is what it is. Like we're kind of like the superstars in the NBA, America. America? Yeah, I think so. Everyone wants to be us. I think that's bullshit. <laughs> I really think that that's how <laughs> egotistical America is. Like, nigga, right. America. Nah, dead ass. Like, some people look at us and like, nigga, I don't want to be obese riding <laughs> in a fucking pickup truck with fucking shotguns in the back going to blow some fireworks up type shit. Like, I don't know, man. I, I know what like, I want to do. I feel like the opportunity is there. Nah, I love America, though, bro. Yeah. People complain a lot about America, but I'm like, yo, go live in fucking Pakistan then, bitch, and see how the fuck you bro, feel. People go are move dying, to Ukraine, though. nigga. No, no, people are oh, really, yeah, yeah, people are really getting blown up and shit. I saw, like, an nah, article, like, apartment complex was, like, blown up, and I was like, wow, by a missile. And I was like, bro, like, that's a, there's people really getting blown up and dying, bro. Be nah, grateful. casualties of war, man. Yeah. Listen, bro, war has been here since the beginning of time. And it's not going anywhere. And usually wars are followed by they're followed by progressions. Like people go to war, go invade some place, and then before you know it, it's progressing, they don't fucking build a new economy, whatever the fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just been happening since the beginning of time, bro. But I don't know, bro. We just live in a fucking crazy world, man. We live in a crazy world where it's like there's so much shit going on that Bro, I just want to take a step back and give a big old fucking round of applause to Burner, bro. A round of applause to Burner, bro. That is one of my motherfucking idols. I'm going to meet him one day, bro, and shake this man's hand, bro. I promise you I will. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, he's I a fucking, he's a goat. He's a goat in the game for he's sure. He's one of the, nigga, he is the goat. Yeah. But I just want to give a round of applause to him, bro, because that nigga's grind is impeccable, bro. Like, yeah. I be looking at his shit, bro, and I'm like, damn, this nigga just opened a store in Puerto Rico. Okay, a couple months later, he opened a store in Jamaica. A couple months later, he opens a store in fucking Thailand. And I'm just like, yo, that all started with a kid and a vision. You know what I'm saying? And when he first started, bro, if you know his story, you know his story. Like, that nigga was in the streets selling packs. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was doing certain things. And it's like, to go from that, to now having a store that's known worldwide, a brand that's known worldwide, that's smoked by all the best rappers and athletes and everything. But you know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. to have that brand and go and go global with it, bro. That's different, man. I, I, round of applause again, bro. Round of applause again, bro. That's crazy to me, bro. Like that shit's in, inspirational. It's like, damn, bro. Yeah, man. I watched the documentary, man. It's crazy. 
You watch the marijuana manias on on not, YouTube? Not that new one. It was a uh, the eleven one or some shit like that. I forgot what it was called. I think it's like one one some shit like that. Those shits are dope, bro. Those I forgot what it was called. It. Yeah, but it was really good. It was really good, and the story behind it like was incredible. Like of how he started and his mom, you know, it fucked him up when mm-hmm. his mom passed away. I think it was from cancer. Mm-hmm. That was crazy, and um, yeah. No, nah, it's 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 crazy, crazy story. His weed's really good. His weed is like always on point. I love cookies. I mean, that's just what I I, I, like I prefer. It, you yeah, know I, mean? I, I really fucks with cookies, man. There's yeah. other there's other strains and, and companies out there that are you know they're really good too. But cookies is just innovative, man. Like if you watch the documentary, bro, like he he tells you, he explains. Like I like listening to the business side, the business minded person. Yeah, and. He talked about how he went to work at a dispensary and he noticed how they just had all these strains and jars with just the names on them. He's like, yo, why aren't these like branded? You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, that's how he came up with the idea to like start coming with, up with little different designs for different strains and shit like that. That's crazy. And it's like, it's just, he saw, he saw something that needed something more. You know what I'm saying? And he took it and he ran with it. You know what I mean? And then he got in alignment with the growers and the right people and people, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he made and he made fucking uh Cuz he's not a grower himself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's just a he's a super smart businessman that knows how to connect the dots. That's yep. what he is. Yep. He's not the grower, but he knows how to connect the grower to the fucking CEOs that have the money to make it go worldwide. Making you know KK, what I'm saying? Like, making KK for Wiz yeah, Khalifa and bro. shit. Like, just tossed it to him like nothing. Like That's brotherhood, though, bro. Yeah. It's like, yo, if I got 10 strains, nigga, pick one. Yeah. It'll be John Cush, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is John. Like, whatever you want to call it, bro. But it's like. John Hall. Real talk, like. But that just lets you know, bro. It, he's he's one of the people. Like I said, he's one of the people that I really look up to, bro. And one day, I promise you, I'm gonna shake that man's hand and tell him, like, yo, yeah, bro, you're bro. the fucking goat. Yeah, bro, you're the goat, bro. Your fucking cookies is fucking amazing. Your but weed people, is amazing. People, Your branding people talk is amazing. Shit. People are like, oh, because like when Burner was like, oh man. Uh, if you're buying fucking cookies off the street, it's not real cookies. And people are like, nah, bro. People can, people can grow your shit. People could clone it. Yeah, but it's like, is it gonna be the same THC content as his? That's like, grown in a fucking facility with the right there's shit. There's something. The- yeah, there's something in that seed that they made that's like this is locked in. Nah, bro. It's like, bro. It's like anything else, nigga. You could go buy LeBron James's shoes. Stupid. Yeah. That doesn't make you LeBron. It doesn't mean you're going to dunk like that, nigga. Yeah. That you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. you could go get his seeds, but bitch, if you don't got that green thumb, your shit's going to be trash. Yeah. Poop soup. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fucking poop soup, bro. Yo. <laughs> the poop soup, bro. Shit like that, bro. No. Nah. But nah, it's just, I don't know, man. I look up to shit like that, bro. I look up to shit like that. Nah, man. Everybody fucks with Burner, man. From Snoop to Dolph to... Yeah, bro. He's just legendary, man. He's one of those figures that he's going to, I feel like his name is going to live on in the culture forever. Like, he's in songs, like, everything, bro. Yeah, like every rap, other rapper rap wants to fucking I'm sorry, but smoke cookies. Stick to the fucking growing bud, bro, because the, <laughs> <laughs> the rapping's all right, bro. What, Burner? Yeah. He just does it for fun, bro. Yeah, bro. Nah, but it's, he it's has cool. The bread There's team. some. like You know the, he signed to Wiz Khalifa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He is. He makes bread off that shit. No, no, no. I'm not being a hater. I'm just saying, like, like in, my, <laughs> in my in my opinion, bro. I felt it's just my opinion, though. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has their own hey, opinion. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and you know what? I felt like the rap was. All right. It's all right. It's it's you know like the like it's okay. Hating, nah, bro. bro. I feel like I'm better than him. <laughs> in that case, you're better than you know. When it comes to the weed, you got the weed, bro. You know nah, what I mean? I, but I feel like I'm a better artist. Hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's and that's I'm not even. Sh- and I'm not even trying. Feel, you know I'm what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how you should feel. I'm not really trying either. <laughs> My dog trying. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. My dog is trying. <laughs> oh man, nah, nah bro. Man. What's been going on in your life lately, man? What's been What's been up with you, bro? Nah. Besides man. that fucking real estate shit, bro. Just chilling, man. Just you know, what I'm saying, just staying home. I've been staying fucking home. Round of applause, bro. Yeah. Shout out to the people that stay home, bro, and you you live your life peacefully in your fucking house. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I, I've been going out, you know what I'm saying? But, like, 
when I mean out, I mean like just driving. Like I was just driving yeah. my mom's or whatever. Like that's probably it. You know what I mean? Go to the hey, gas man, station. You've been working, dog. You've been get some blunts. Shit done. Been getting shit fucking done, bro. You know what Straight I'm saying? Up. Now it's time to just get to work, man. You know? But yeah, bro, like I need to start hitting, hitting the beach. You know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah, I was talking a, about that shit yesterday. Once a month, maybe. Like we, try I need to, to go to the spring or the beach. I'd rather go to the spring than the beach, though. Yeah. Are you a spring or a beach type of guy? You're the beach type of guy, right? No, I like beach, but like I I'd rather go to the fucking springs if it's like too hot. The spring is the best when it's hot. Because it's fucking cold. Oh, it's cold <laughs> yeah. as fuck. That shit all covered up and shit. Holy fuck. Nah, but like the the springs is cr- is crazy though, because it's like Silver Springs when we went, bro. That shit was. <laughs> nah, that shit was amazing, man. That shit was amazing. You ever seen? You ever seen DJ Khaled when he was like? Oh know. yeah, you <laughs> sent me that shit like seven times, and I liked it every other time. But this morning, I was like, not again, nigga. It is funny, but I was like, bitch, I've seen this shit like a hundred fucking times. This fucking fat ass nigga DJ Khaled gets stuck out at sea. Yo, we so gotta funny. make it. it was, the bro, they got dark. To make bro, it. bro, it got dark as fuck. Nigga, head towards the fucking lights, <laughs> and he's like, bro, there's nah, no lights and I, shit. Bullshit, bitch. At the beginning of the video, you see the whole fucking. Coastline behind his bro, fat ass. When I mean, it he's got, just going off deeper into the ocean. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you deserve to get lost. That was nigga. us on the kayak, bro, trying to get back. Nah, bro, <laughs> I fuck, yo, I almost fucking blew my goddamn shoulder out of socket, nigga, going up that river. <laughs> yo, I swear to God, man. yo, we went to we went to a fucking uh, Silver Springs, man, out in Ocala, bro. If y'all never been, y'all have to go, bro. It's beautiful. They have like glass bottom boat tours. You see manatees it was and like, fish and we, turtles and fucking yeah. gators and monkeys. We saw all that shit. Yeah, bro. we talk. <laughs> we talk about it like it's yesterday. That bitch was like three years ago. Bro. I love that day, bro. It was such a good day. We went out there, bro. We fucked around. We ate some mushrooms. We smoked some good weed, bro. And we were just floating down the river. Yeah, bro. I remember fucking. I remember sway fucking. Floated up next to me He just started tying his fucking kayak to my kayak And I'm like what the fuck get off my shit (laughs) And he's like hold on bro And then he just jumped into the river With a camera And I was like what the fuck (laughs) And this nigga just down there for like fucking Seemed like two minutes bro I swear He didn't come up for a minute And And when he came up he's like look He had took pictures of like Fucking two manatees and shit. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. You remember I remember, that? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and then he took a picture of the monkey, too. Yeah, he took a picture of the monkey, like, getting water, bro. I didn't know there was monkeys out there, bro. I was, Bro, guys, if y'all ever done shrooms, imagine being on shrooms in the middle of a majestic forest with manatees swimming under your kayak, yeah. alligators sunbathing, <laughs> monkeys in the fucking trees, bro. It was majestic. No, that was the word of the day. Yeah, majestic. I, we kept staring at them. And they're probably nah, looking bro. at us like, "What the fuck?" We were are you all tripping. At? We're, we're they're tripping just like we're tripping. No, they're they're like, like, yo, are these what the is fuck? that nigga looking at me? <laughs> That's what they're thinking too. Like, nah, we ain't making eye contact right now, are we? I bet. Say less. These niggas, Welcome to my fucking forest, nigga. <laughs> yo, these these people, man. Who are these people, huh? Nah, that was a crazy day, yo. We found like some fucking tiki's or some shit that supposedly. We were using the Tarzan movie. You remember the little houses we found? Yeah, yeah. They I were using that. the Tarzan movie, supposedly. I don't fucking know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I think it's horse shit. I mean, who knows, bro? It's maybe. probably. They say that's why the, the monkeys like are cages loose. And shit, that's dude. why they say the monkeys are loose because of the Tarzan movie out of yeah. a sudden they got escaped. Yeah, those that. monkeys are not supposed to be there. Yeah. But the other crazy part is, is that they only stay by the river. Because you don't see monkeys in the middle of the woods, like deeper in the fucking city. You know what I'm saying? Like those monkeys only stay right there. I mean, it's wild. Yeah, like they don't come out to the city and shit. <laughs> Yo, there hasn't been a monkey with rabies yet, bro. I guess. Nah, supposedly they got herps or something. I don't know. <laughs> what the nah, that's what they said. They said don't get, don't get near it. They might bite you. Yo, John said don't touch it. You got the herps. <laughs> nah, bro. They say if they bite you, bro, and people can, you know, they carry diseases. Nah, and shit. fuck herpes, nigga. You'll get rabies, and you could die from rabies. No, nah, they said they got herpes still. I mean, I'm sure they fucking do. We nah, one right. out of every na- one of nasty motherfuckers out there. One out of every three has herpes in this country. Ain't that some nasty shit? <laughs> that means if there's ten people standing in line, nigga, like three of y'all have herpes. <laughs> shit, I guess I got herpes. <laughs> and you know. We got herpes, though. Now nah, we all do. Everybody does. Yeah, there's different types of herpes, though. Like, like everybody, full does. blown, like, like genital herpes is like. 
That's a herpes that's fucking. Yeah, I mean, it'll fuck you up. You ever yeah. had that? You ever had no. warts on your fucking? No, I have dick tip. No, I have some friends that like had to clap like twice and shit. Oh, that's fucking trash. Bro. Yeah, but you know, Holy like shit. <laughs> that's trash. Yo, I'm yeah. sorry, bro. But they're like, like if your ball shit from sex is not worth it. I'm but, sorry. But if your balls are fucking, you ever got blue balls? I have had blue balls, and that shit's fucking trash. I had it one. Y'all time. women out there be fucking playing sometimes. I had it one time. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't yeah, gonna nah, fucking blue balls lie to you. is not a fun thing to fucking have. It it's hurts. It kind of it, it does hurt. It's been yeah, a while since like, I've had it though. Yeah. But like, you know, it's That's been a like while. High school shit. Yeah, yeah. Like bitch, fucking start touching on you. Yeah, and, then and you fucking got you want to do something. She's like, oh, no, I can't. And then I'm like, oh, and like you don't want to be a rapist, so you're just like, all right, bitches, <laughs> yeah, bro, all right, get the fuck off of me. That's <laughs> that's one thing. If a girl, if a girl tells me no, it's like, all right, cool, all yeah. right, cool. I'm a prideful ass nigga, man. Yeah, you, you tell me I mean? no, bitch. I might never talk to your stupid like, ass again. There was this oh, girl. God. Yeah, there was this girl. I <laughs> oh, spoke God. about it. It was like two years ago, bro. Fucking, she got too drunk, bro. I took her home and tucked her in her bed and I left. Yeah, nah. You can't be a piece of shit. Like, I tucked her in. You can't be a piece of shit. You know I know I mean? guys, I, you know what I'm saying? I know guys out there that did some shit to women when they were passed out. You know what I'm saying? Certain shit like that. And yeah, I'm just like, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's God's, kinda, that's God's dis- watching, bro. That's kind of disturbing, bro. God's when, watching. When right? someone's sleeping or passed out, that's kind of like, Hey, some niggas are freaks, bro, and they have certain fucking fetishes and shit like that. Supposedly, that's what Bill Cosby was doing. He was knocking, allegedly, he was knocking women out with the drinks and then, like, doing whatever he wanted to them when they would pass out. Like, Damn. That's what he was supposedly doing. So. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But the point is, guys, R. don't Kelly. be a fucking, don't be a creep, man. Don't be a creep. Like, dead ass, bro. Like, yeah, like. I've that's... always been that type of dude. Like, just respect. Respect women, bro, that want to be respected. Because her telling you no is her respecting herself. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes talk shit about women that don't respect themselves, but it's like the women that do, bro, you shame them. Yeah. Like, oh, well, fuck you, bitch. I ain't want you anyway, and this and that. It's like, no, bro. It's like, she said no, bro. Like, and that's cool. She might say yes later. Yeah. But you you might have to show something. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, exactly. It takes time, bro. Like, you can't just expect every fucking female to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, let's just. The only females that will fuck you. On go, bro, as a whore, a hooker, yeah, a, a escort, a woman that gets paid to do that. Yeah, if you go, but out, most women aren't just gonna fuck you the honest, first night. You know, you go out. You know, what I'm saying you have a good time. Sometimes you might get lucky. Who knows? You know, bro, what I'm saying. But I feel like the chances of one night stands nowadays, bro, is like a lot less than what it used to be. I feel like it's high as fuck right now. Nah, I feel like that's just that's just people cheating and shit. <laughs> like that's nah. just people that do other shit. But yeah. like. Single, I, I don't know. It's weird. I feel like <coughs> single, a lot of single people, bro, they don't. If you have to force yourself to do it, <coughs> then it's like, nah, like if it comes naturally, then then so be it. You know what you what mean? Saying? Force yourself. Like if you have to force yourself to like to have sex, like if it doesn't come naturally, like if it doesn't come naturally, like I don't know how to explain it. If I'm saying it right, maybe I'm like with, the, with a certain person type shit. Yeah. Like if you go out with them and it's like natural and everything flows perfectly, mm. you know what I mean? Like don't force Anything. If you have to force yeah. yourself to like speak to a girl too, you ever seen that? Like mm-hmm. your anxiety's high, then don't do it. Yeah. I watched the video about that. It was like crazy. It's like Bro. if you have to force yourself, if it's not natural and it doesn't, it's not flowing. And I, I didn't look at it from that perspective. I just yeah, that, a, that's crazy. Bro, your connection. You ever fuck somebody and like your rhythm is off, the connection is off, like it doesn't feel like as yeah. good as somebody yeah, else. Somebody else. It's yeah. because that connection wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro. Humans are emotional creatures, regardless of how everybody wants to be acting and acting like we don't need each other. I've said it a hundred times. We do need each other and we're emotional creatures, bro. So you need to have a certain type of connection. That's why there's a woman that you fucked that you thought would be her pussy would be crazy. Yeah. She's super bad, whatever. Yeah. And when you hit, you're like, oh, that shit was OK. And then there's another girl that you might have hit. She might have not been like, you know, your physical type or whatever. But y'all had that connection and the sex was fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just. I feel like it's more about a connection than it is just about fucking animals. Fuck anybody can fuck. Yep. A dog will run up to another dog that they don't know and just start fucking. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, I don't know, man. I don't know. We we got to get back to to building connections, bro, and not just trying to fucking gain followers yeah. and shit. <laughs> Straight the fuck up, like follow no, me, bro. bitch, so I can look at your tits every day. It's like, all right. <laughs> 
<laughs> but nah, man, I'll tell y'all what. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. We've been back with another one. We appreciate y'all. Go over on Patreon. Check us out over there. Get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And last but not least, don't forget to tell somebody you love them. We're fucking out of here. Peace and love. Thank <laughs> you.